very, very similar to what we see in Psalm 18 verses 4 and 5. With the sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. Verse 6 then, of course, also follows up just as 116 did. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Now, um, you know, people might say, oh, well, why would Jesus have to call on God? Well, Jesus, when he was on the cross, said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Right? When, when uh, he was bearing the sins of the whole world in his body. So it makes sense that in hell he would still cry out to the Lord, but then the Lord's going to hear him, right, and deliver him out of hell. Um, that, to me, it just makes perfect sense. But what's also interesting about this, too, is just, you know, we need to remember, just as is what's being taught here, in my distress, I called upon the Lord. You know, are you calling out to God in your times of trouble? And we, and especially as men, we need to realize, you know, men and women alike, but men especially, you know, don't get so much pride in your life that makes you want to have to do everything on your own. Now, look, it's good to be independent. It's good to own up the thing. It's good to, you know, when you do wrong, suffer for the wrong that you've done. Be willing to take punishments when you do things that are bad or wrong and kind of stand up, own it. But also, you know, when, when you're, you know, trying to work, you don't want to just accept handouts from people, from other men. I get that, too. You want to try to earn your own way. But here's the thing. When you come across troubles and you have these hard times and you're in distress and you're in dire need, you know, you got to turn to God. You ought, don't, have, don't have so much pride that you think you can't turn to the Lord. Of all people, I mean, you may not want to turn to man, but always turn to God. Always turn to the Lord. Don't have so much pride in you that you think, no, I'm going to go this alone. There's, there's nothing that's going to be honorable for you choosing not to turn and call on the Lord. That's not honorable. Okay, you may think it is in your mind. Turn to God. You know what's honorable is God getting glory and credit and honor for saving you. How about that? How about instead of you worrying about getting honor on yourself by being tough enough to, to go through everything without asking God for help, why don't you ask God for help and give God some credit and glory and honor for saving you and delivering you and helping you out in your time of need and recognizing, you know what, God's a lot more powerful and strong than I am, and I'm going to rely on His strength and His might than my own to get through whatever you're going through. And not only that, it's like we can call on the Lord and we know he's going to hear. The Bible says that all things work together to good for those that, um, those that love God, to those that are called according to his promise, that um, God will hear us.